up everybody low jockey here <clears throat> doing me a couple little little sprints get my chest right Woo. what a day the last couple of days anyway guys after the whole uh, thing where I had to go do the thing with the uh, with the food bank it kind of put me behind schedule so I've been running around getting stuff done at night and I don't know some kind of way I ended up here at the JB hunt yard in Lowell Arkansas I've never been here there ain't nothing better than a whole lot you know where you match the company trucks I'm not gonna say anything but yeah it kind of messed me up and got me all confused on the load also uh I don't know I think when I was at that place delivering that food I must have touched something with my bumper I got some little scuff marks on it I think I cracked my light right here but it's like so slight that might just rub off so I'm not really happy about that but I had I haven't had time to look at it, it looks like I could wipe it off it don't look like nothing but anyway I'm back at you guys uh, I appreciate the subscribers and the comments about the last video and it turns out that if I would have put that stuff in the dumpster like some of you guys said I would have been in so much hot water uh, I took it to the uh, I took it to the food bank and what they ended up doing was uh, they ended up sending me a receipt and believe J believe me JB Hunt was looking for that receipt <laughs> and I, I did the right thing so my instincts uh, uh, worked out for me that time so I didn't go to the dumpster but anyway I was kind of upset because my loads that I was able to get well the load they were giving me was only like a hundred hundred mile run which I don't care about the run I care about the money I just couldn't line nothing up and then all of a sudden like they always do they got loads that they don't put on the load board they put a real nice one on me y'all like it's got to be the highest pan it's got to be the highest pan load they ever put as far as like percentage of the revenue not the highest but for the short amount of time it is so we gotta run we gotta probably do a 600 mile run today it's like i gotta leave the bentonville while well, i'm at lowell arkansas the headquarters of jb hunt never been here it's pretty good so i'm leaving here going up the road to kansas about 100 miles turning around coming back and then we're going to virginia i you know that that would have led me to go past my house but unfortunately if I can make it to the house to do a 10 hour break, I can, but I can't miss out on this money. It's, it's too good and it ends on Saturday, the, the, the end of the pay period. So I got till, I don't ever give myself midnight, but before midnight central time, I'll say about 10 o'clock to prove that I got that load unloaded. Anyway, guys, that's another day, another dollar, minus taxes and expenses, of course, but appreciate y'all for being with me. Got the old low jockey shirt on. And I know y'all been seeing me experiment with my intro. I'm playing around with that, trying to get something new. We'll see what happens. But anyway, guys, let's enjoy this day. It's so dang beautiful. Look at the sky. Well, let me get those trailers out the way, but... Oh, man. That's like ocean blue sky right there, y'all. Ocean blue sky. Let's go to work, though. Enough of this talk. Just like that. They took my load away, so. Yeah. I'm gonna have to get me some energy drink on this one. Let's see. Let's go to the mini fridge. I'm just gonna pretend that's a Bud Light right now. Crack that open. We'll be good. It's gonna be a long day. I did all that exercising for nothing. You know what, man? Today sucks. I'm pretty much gonna give up on today, but uh, it's all, it's my fault. Of course, everything's my fault. But if you guys can look behind me and see this road right here, this road, down the road down there, there's a turn. If you miss that turn, good luck to you. Cause you'll be in chicken farmland, okay? And that's what I just went through. I missed my turn, which is down there, about, a, if it is even a quarter of a mile, eighth of a mile, 
I missed that turn and I kept going down and an hour and about 40 miles later I'm back here again <laughs> at a place that they said there was no parking and then when you get here there's nothing blocking you from parking so I could have came here last night but I was just going by what they had listed so now I'm here I think yeah after I deliver this load I think this load is gonna be not a good thing but yeah I missed the turn and believe me at first I'm confident I'm like oh I just missed the turn I'll find somewhere to turn around after 40 miles and going to a whole completely different state I'm back to the same spot again where I missed my turn and then any I'm sure people miss this turn it sucks bro you miss this turn it's bad you guys miss a turn <sighs> And for you rookie guys, if you miss a turn, don't do no dang U-turns in the middle of the road or nothing stupid. Just bite the bullet on that like I just did. So an hour later, 40 whole miles later after traveling to another state, it sounds worse than it really, really is. The state of Oklahoma is two miles down the road, but I missed my turn and it just makes the rest of my day crap. So I had a little 30 mile drive, which was no traffic, no nothing. I miss one turn, it turns into an hour and a half, 70 miles. Shot myself in the foot. Kapow! This guy just put me on hold. You know what, communication, communication, communication. Communication, communication. How many times can I say it? Shut up! Apparently this load has been preloaded since yesterday. The nighttime dispatch guy told me that this was a live load. Shut up. They also told me there is no parking here. I get to the place, as you can see. I hope you can see. It's parking everywhere. The guy said they got overnight parking preloaded trailers the best possible scenario for a truck driver this load was ready since yesterday even though I made a wrong turn that's the fan on the computer it's upset too this is why people quit places it's not because the job is bad it's because people make people quit communication will drive you crazy the basic communication is lost so I'm trying not to lose my patience here, but my load was ready to stay. Even my people net is upset right now. Listen to it. While I'm making my delivery and uh, the place is basically a big dog food place. I mean, I guess they make it here too. It's a bunch of grain trucks or whatever these trucks are bringing in weird ingredients. But the thing is across the street from me, I don't know what's going on, but it smells like bacon. Everything smells like bacon. They processing hams or something across the street. It's wonderful. I just, oh man, it's, it's, it's good. At first I thought they were making, putting bacon in the dog food or whatever. And I was like, uh, I'm gonna have to give me a bag of that dog food. But uh, it's pretty much real nice going on. Anyway. Their unload me was a short run, not a lot of revenue. However, that is, I got a load going to Oklahoma tomorrow. I had a load that would take me straight to my house. I could have grabbed the load, sat at my house for two days. The only problem is it picks up tomorrow and it delivers on Monday. So I wouldn't get paid for it. I need some revenue. I need some cash flow. So. I went with this load going to Oklahoma. It's just a better fit for me so I can get something added to this paycheck for this week. And then uh then from Oklahoma, which I haven't even checked the area and see what those loads look like. I don't care. Uh from Ardmore, Oklahoma, I'll be trying to get to my house for you know Christmas and all that good stuff. But yeah, so everything should be good. Anyway. They're unloading me fast. I know I got all emotional about the load. I got lost today. 
I made a wrong turn. Like I said, you make a wrong turn in the in the boonies. I was just driving, bro. Driving. I was looking for places to try to turn around. Wasn't happening. 17 miles, 18 miles, 30 miles. Then finally I had to go <laughs> a big circle and come back where I started. So hey, that, that happens sometimes, but you will not see me on the news trying to do a U-turn and end up blocking the whole road off with my tandem stuck in a ditch. That will not happen. So I wasted some fuel, but I learned a lot. I mean, you don't you, I mean you don't know every place where you deliver is not an easy in and easy out. It's not. This one, this one is easy, easy. That last one is terrible. You miss your turn. Good luck to you. You're going through the Ozark Mountains. But anyway. Sometimes it happens. Uh oh, I just got the green light. I think I'm empty. I got a little bit of daylight outside, as you can see. I'm going to take advantage of that. So I'm going to Lawrence, Kansas. And I'll try to get parked up. It's only like 4 o'clock. So I'll, I'll try to get parked up and uh, get somewhere before it gets dark. Pick up my load tomorrow. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end it here. I'm going to try to edit this video, add a little flair to it. I don't know when it will be coming out, but... Today is, uh, today is Thursday. Maybe it'll come out Friday at some time. But anyway, low jockey going through some emotional roller coasters, guys. It ain't all good all the time. But still, it's better to be in the company, guys. <laughs> Peace.